Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today I wanted to do a quick video showing how to install and initialize a new internal hard drive on a desktop computer. So in terms of an agenda, I wanted to start from the very beginning with a brand new hard drive. So in my case, I ordered a Seagate Ironwolf 8 terabyte, three and a half inch NAS drive. So we'll do a super quick unboxing of this drive to just show what comes in the box. Next, we'll show how to physically install this into a desktop computer and hook up the various wires. And lastly, we'll jump over to the software side of things and initialize the drive so Windows recognizes it and can use it for storage. So if that sounds like fun, let's get the hard drive out of the box. I want to take a look at this uh, internal, actually, hard drive. So this is a Seagate Iron Wolf 8 terabyte uh, NAS internal 3.5 inch drive. So uh, let's get it out of the box and we can see what it looks like. Um, so I got this with frustra frustration-free packaging. So I guess there's not a whole lot of stuff in here. I guess you've got uh, some instructions there. Uh, warranty. Who is it gonna, nobody's going to read that and then here's the drive okay packaged up nicely with all recyclable content it looks like so that's pretty much it okay so here's the drive in the uh, electrostatic free bag so let's see if we can open this thing up and get to the actual drive and see what it looks like and it's probably fairly boring and vanilla and standard. I'm going to try to be careful. Aha, uh -huh, yep. <laughs> okay, so that's the drive. Pretty hefty, as you can see, 8 terabyte. Uh, I paid about $220 for this, which I think is a phenomenal price for this kind of storage. Of course, by the time you watch this video, it's probably dropped, and uh, this is not going to be relevant for very long. But anyway, this is the drive. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and crack open the computer and get this thing installed. All right, so interestingly, um, I guess this is probably pretty standard, but this hard drive did not come with any mounting hardware. So there was no rails, no hard drive caddy. Um, so what I ended up having to do is I went upstairs and I cannibalized a uh, hard drive caddy off of one of my other desktops. So all we're gonna have to do is let's just wrap this caddy around the hard drive. Again, I'm gonna make sure I get this oriented correctly. So I gotta get the, um, the screw holes. Uh, should line up with the, these top screw holes on the caddy. And again, I want the power and the SATA connectors facing out. So I think we've got to get it something like this. So, all right, let's go ahead and just get this guy wrapped around the drive. Should hopefully be pretty easy. I'll just be a little bit careful. So one side goes in probably pretty easily and then I'm gonna to have to monkey with it a little bit to get the other side wrapped around appropriately. There we go, and then just kind of bend this a little bit out. There we go, okay, okay, perfect. Okay, all right, so now we've got the drive in the caddy, and hopefully this is ready to just slot right into the, um, the case. So uh, let's run over to the computer, pop open the case, and get this guy inserted. All right, so we've got the case popped open and uh, we've got an open empty drive bay here. So let's just go ahead and take our hard drive caddy, slide it in carefully until we get it locked in. There we go, perfect. And then luckily for us, I think power is already uh, right here and I think the L connector is in the right direction so there's no way we can mess this up. There we go. And then similarly, the SATA cable is right over here. And now if we just get this to fit appropriately, there we go. Okay, I think we've got the hard drive physically installed. So let's button this back up and go uh, fire up the machine and initialize the drive. All right, so here we are. We booted the machine back up. And if you notice, when I come here to uh, my computer or this PC, you'll notice that there is only the C drive. So this was the solid state hard drive that are already had installed. So that new uh, Iron Wolf hard drive that we just installed is not showing up. And that's because we need to initialize this drive to get it uh, recognized by Windows. So to do that, I'm gonna come down here to the Windows Start menu and I'm going to right click, not left click. So I right click on this, come up here to Disk Management. And 
aha, look at this. You get this uh, notice that it says that we need to initialize this OneDrive before we can access it. So uh, let's go ahead and make sure it's selected. Now we're gonna pick which type of partition style for the selected drive we want. Now, uh, since we're running a newer version of Windows and because that hard drive is larger than two terabytes, uh, we are going to need to do uh, GPT. So if you have an older style of Windows or an older version of Windows, in fact, I don't even know if you can do that any longer since uh, Windows seems to be automatically updated, then you might want to pick uh, MBR. But for now, we are going to use GPT because that's newer and uh, we've got the larger hard drive. So let's go ahead and hit OK. And now aha, it switches to online. Perfect. So the drive is almost ready for usage. Now what we need to do is we need to basically go ahead and right click on this disk one drive down here and select new simple volume. So we need to basically partition this drive. Um, so let's do that. We'll go ahead and select new simple volume. We're gonna walk through this. We are going to want to specify, I'm gonna use the entire drive. So I'm just gonna make this entire drive a single partition. If you wanted to do multiple partitions, uh, you could do this here. But uh, I want all eight terabytes in a single drive letter. So we'll go ahead and select next. We are going to assign this to a particular drive letter. I like D, D sounds to me, uh, will make sense. That's exactly the drive letter I want assigned to this brand new drive. So we'll go ahead and hit next. And we're going to go ahead and format this with uh, whatever we uh, want. So uh, file system, unless you have a specific reason to use something other than NTFS, I would just leave it as NTFS. Um, volume label, you can go ahead and change this if you want. Uh, for example, maybe I'm just going to call this LUM uh, data. Um, and then, yeah, I think you're going to want to do a quick format because uh, if you don't do a quick format, uh, that's going to take a really long time. And especially since this drive is brand new from the factory, there shouldn't be a need to try to do a full format. So a quick format should work well. And uh, we, do, we do not want to enable file or folder compression. So I will leave that unchecked. So if we hit next, this all looks good. I should be able to hit finish and it's gonna sit here and you can see it's formatting and then aha, look at this, here we go. It looks like it is online. So now, aha, look at this. Now if you come over here to my computer, look at that, we got our eight terabyte drive. Well, I guess it's not full eight terabytes, it's 7.27 terabytes, but that's way more data than I know what to do with. So um, I think that's it. We are ready to start populating and filling this drive uh, with files. So we should be able to just sit here and put whatever we want here. Test doc. All right, there we go. And we are off to the races. So uh, that is pretty much the easy way to install that new hard drive, uh, get it initialized, partitioned, and basically ready for usage. So uh, with that being said, uh, I think it's probably a great spot to leave it. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if so, I also hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. Surprisingly, that really does help me continue making these videos. And remember, the new videos come out every Monday. So I hope I'll catch you on one of these and we can all learn something new together. So until then, uh, I think I'm going to sign off. Talk to you later. Bye.